Uh, we've raised it with Turkish officials at, at the highest level, and we hope that they will, that Turkey will implement the protocols that uh, that, the, that their president signed. <laughs> The, the protocols were, were signed, as signed, were unconditional, not linked to issues on either side. Uh, we consider, we still think the protocols are unconditional and not linked to any other question. And the political message is that reconciliation is still our goal. There are lots of ways to, to bring about reconciliation between Turkey and Armenia. The primary way is the protocols. We support the protocols. The United States supports the protocols. Unconditional protocols. Not linked to any other issue. And that's the primary way that we, the United States, are pushing for and promoting and encouraging reconciliation between Turkey and Armenia. But there are many other ways as well. At the same time that we push the protocols at every opportunity, at every level, we also, we the United States, and we Armenia, and we Turkey, also are trying to build people-to-people -people ties from the ground up in every sector to build and, and, and to promote reconciliation between these two important countries. We in the United States government, we in the United States are doing whatever we can to make it possible on the policy level, but also in terms of conferences like this, through people-to-people -people exchanges. This one is business. Very important to do it with business, as I said. We're also promoting exchanges of journalists, teachers, students, parliamentarians, members of the, members of the executive branch of both countries.